Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Master of Wills. We're in the Ivory Fortress and we just completed two challenges. Well, to Ezreal next. Let's go. Red Poggers has been doing fine for us. We have no cards to add or, or any way to edit the deck, so we're just going to keep it. I mean, there are a couple of cards. I think there are four cards, red cards, we've opened from just packs and stuff. But, um... But apart from that, like, there's, there's not much else. And, and so I think that we've got... Well, the deck we have now is the best we can we can get it. This is a really good afterlife um, selection at the moment. Um, you'd love to see faction cards as well. Definitely not going to play this one. We could play the other ones though. But opponent is going first. They do give us this and that as well. Oh no, that's black. Okay, uh, will they play a faction card? They play Dharma. They get to move some cards to their side. Wow. Wow, solid plays. That's some very solid plays. Um, okay, let's let's see. So this is... We don't have a lot of good faction cards for us at the moment. So just double checking, that is underground. Oh my goodness, they had such a great start. Um, do we minus four? One. <laughs> You just give them 14 points. So we, we have to pick the the lesser of two. I can't believe we have to do this. And we'll do that for the moment. I don't want to give them eight just yet for allies. It was so lucky. I think whoever wins this game actually might it might have actually just come down to whoever went first. But we'll see if we can come back nonetheless. So Crafty Butcher. Ooh. Kill 4. Um, Epic Flood is pretty bad. Kill 4 neutral area cards. Draw 2 random after life. If drawn. Oh, these two are pretty bad. Well, let's go Divinity. Or neutral area. We don't want to give them any factions. So this one's gonna die. Um, this one also is going to die. I know one's gonna be added as well at the end. One card that so it could be faction. This is plus one to green. It's minus three, so that's fine. So let's do that. Yeah, do we mind? I don't mind them taking this. Oh, so, but we should definitely destroy this one, though. Three, and then... Four. I think that was the best thing to do. And at least we get some good stuff now. Okay, 19 to 34. There's still a pretty big gap, but they only have a couple of cards to choose from. Okay, that was a pretty lucky turn. And they played Deliverance. Draw one community card in place in Loyalist. Okay, it did not trigger anything else. Okay, we're pretty lucky then. Um, Looks like we have to play this. Minus one is going to be from here to here. The plus one is obviously going to be this. Oh, has to be that. And then minus two. That's the only thing we can do. But now we can at least play a card. Draw five, uh, move one recruit to neutral area. Swap one card from a row with one afterlife card. We could swap it with the orange. Or if they give us red. So let's save that. Draw two. The two okay, an opponent's recruits whose combined value. Let's just remove some stuff with brainwash. Oh, but it does put stuff in neutral area. That was a mistake. We 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 did increase their options to do stuff. Or we, we gave them more options. Well, that's alright. The point the point advantage isn't too or the point gap isn't too big now. Okay, they did take minus five to move recruits over there. But they didn't play a faction card though, so it's fine. Okay, let's do this. This will be 
move it over to their side. Plus one, we want to get that to recruits and then move one recruit to the neutral area. Let's do that. Actually. No, no, we shouldn't because that is a faction card. I don't want them to play it again. So let's just go Violent Deceiver. Even though there's no loyal cards. Yeah, let's do that. Just to give us some more points to, to work with. But I don't want to give them our opponent any chance to play a faction card. That's another four point. That's pretty bad. That's, sick. That's the... <laughs> the three low we got the three lowest amazing this they really the game really doesn't want us to win this one we appreciate that though okay and there, there is one faction card over here okay well that's pretty sad um is there another faction card no oh there, there's this one this is actually fine so plus one minus two plus one Kill and restore, it says kill one recruit. Yeah, let's do that. And then we can take out the nine cost one. Okay, we're in the lead now. We're actually in the lead, boys. Place one random after one. No, we should do this and move this to the um to this area. In case they play at the 10, which minus is one green, at least we get this. Oh no, they probably won't, they won't give that one to us though, but at least we get this actually. I think that was better. Okay, so they're gonna move stuff over to our side, thank you very much. Thank you very much. They're gonna play a faction card now. Virgin Strike, up to two community cards containing the image of a woman. Wow. Still 40 ore, not bad. Okay. So, we're looking for faction cards, that's minus 4, so that gives them 7 points. This one minuses... We don't lose anything from that, we do lose the 8 points though, so that's not very good. So I think we are looking at this one, because that gives them 7... We still get a bonus, a net 2 bonus. This is, we get... We lose two, we lose a lot of points for playing that, so this is our best bet. So, one, two, three, four. And now what can we do? We can kill a recruit and draw one random recruit. What's their second highest card? That's eight, we can swap eight for four. That's not very good. Swap one card from a row with the random afterlife, no, with one afterlife card. So let's um kill is 9 point, Azrael's 9 point recruit, because that's pretty high. And then we have the chance of getting that as well. We got it back, hey! It's pretty good, pretty good. Okay, there's one faction card, yep, he's just gonna say, it's a chance he plays that. They'll give this brown one over to us though, which is quite nice. Okay, and then we want to play this one. Um, draw one random afterlife card to recruits. Card. Hopefully it's odd. If it's odd, okay, he gets the plus one. Oh, oh, that gets the plus two, dang. This, this is very tight. We're looking for removal. Looking for some removal. This is the only faction card we can play. Gonna minus one like that. Gonna minus one like this. They want a plus one like this. Because I don't know if we can get that ten. Uh, I actually don't know. Don't like. We just don't have a lot of good cards at the moment. Swap opponent's second highest card. Ten with eight. That's still not very good. So maybe we should have kept it there, then we could have swapped it for the three. Yeah, that was a misplay. I think we have to start playing some... Um, we have to start adding some power to our side. 
please hit okay that's three points at least that's nine points which is pretty big 15 points okay we're back in we're back in the game okay we so you're saying there's a chance and they don't even have any faction cards either they get that out on they get that out okay that's so even though I think we should play this one so we can plus just secure the 15. The minus one is it bad? Moves an orange. Then we can swap the orange actually for our three points. Black, we can give that to them. And green, we can give them. Yeah, let's do that. So, orange, we can move it. So, it doesn't matter. Yeah, because it's just give and take. It's still it's still going to be there anyway. Um, then minus one, you can have that. And you can have that. But now we can play... I think we go right hand man. And we swap the three. We swap the ten with our three points. Okay. Oh, and we get... We get two points as well. Okay. This is tight, man. This is extremely tight. It was tight from turn one. As long as there's only a couple of faction cards, so they can't really do much. And to win, all you have to do is play faction cards. So the fact that they didn't play any is great for us. Don't mind playing this. Anything that adds brown as well and minus the screen is also pretty good but that does give them some points so for the minus two they can keep that or plus one. Oh, we got to get that out of here hundred percent and then we just move the minus one there and we have one more turn to make a really big play choose two loyalists and place it into recruits and then they get highest value then they get the 11 back but eight plus seven is 15 so it could be pretty good Draw two random afterlife cards. That's pretty small. We could swap his eight for a four. Um, choose two loyalists. And these only go to recruits as well. So they could just move it out. And then they keep the 11 points. Um, that's fine. I think I think we just play it for the point advantage. But if we if we knew, had we known, we definitely wouldn't have um, moved um, this because we could have just kept it there. But we didn't know, so that's fine. Okay, and now fifty point lead is pretty big. Oh, we won because we came. We went second. Oh, let's go! Oh, that was so close, man. That was so close. Look at this, look at this overview. They were ahead until like the middle of the game. That's and even then we didn't have um that much of an advantage. Would you love to see it? Let's let's keep going. And next we're going against the Max Shelling. Red Pog is okay, it's a bit it's hard now. It's getting it's I'm feeling the AI difficulty. The Kermis Battle Ring. Okay, third eye you love to see. I wanted um I wanted some targeted removal. But black mirror is um kinda okay. When it works, it works. And drop the three random afterlife cards. What was in the afterlife? Five and six. That's fine. Okay, who's going first? Um we could Okay, the opponent wants to go first. They're going to give us some nice stuff. What will they play? What will they play? Trench coat, draw one community card to your loyalists, randomly change community color. Of all cards on opponent's side, move all opponent cards that match. Okay. What? There's no faction cards? We're playing strictly for points right now. If we're playing strictly for points, what are we looking for? We're looking for plus two blue. So we can secure that. If not, we want to 
we're just looking for value. What gives us value? This one gives us value. So that just pluses blue and there's no downside to that. Let's do it. Um, let's get that out of here. And that's that's one turn. <laughs> this is one turn got 11 points. This is the saddest turn ever. No fact. Oh, there's one faction card now since it's in the pool. Oh, that's really good though. Is it only minus is red? It gets put in recruits though, so maybe not the best. So I think we do this. So at least we get to do this. And then we get to play. Choose one afterlife. Still nothing good. Shot the three random. Place them in the original place. Draw one community card. Let's see if we can hit black mirror on grey. Oh my goodness, that's black mirroring brown. There's a lot. <clears throat> that's really good. <clears throat> that's really good because there are a lot of um minus twos now. So we actually we can there's a lot of minus two browns, so they're all gonna come to our side. So they gave us 18 points in exchange for 12. Which is actually really good for us. Um, we're definitely gonna nocturne this. So what else can we do? We can just do plus one. Yeah, let's just plus one and then secure one, two, and three like that. And then we can Nocturne. Oh, that's pretty good though. What? Oh, because we didn't play a faction card, obviously. Oops. Okay, we'll just save it for the Nocturne. Okay. Okay, you love to see this. Well, this is the only card we'll be able to play. Because we're looking for the Nocturne plays. Oh, and that's gold as well. So we're going... One... Okay, we'll just give it to him. And then that's only really minus one. Now we can Nocturne. I don't want an inside job, just because... Like, even though it's random, we could just get the one point card. So it's better to just get this and grab, put it straight into allies. And we don't want to give our opponent anything. Okay, this one, this game is a lot easier than our previous one. Okay, we can definitely inside job this. Minus three blue as well isn't the worst. But there's also this faction card, which is minus three and plus one black. There's no black, unfortunately. So we all have to minus three blue. But it only gets moved to loyalists. That will let us... Um, yeah, I think we do inside job. If we hit 11, that's amazing. But if we hit 8 as well, it's still... 8 is not bad by any means. Foggy. Let's go. Okay, opponent turn. They have one faction card they can play, but they did not choose to play it. So that gets... They picked up those points and move this out. Okay. Oh, and we have another. You love to see it. You love to see the faction cards, man. Okay, so we'll get this. Minus three, so it's only minus one. But then we get to send this all the way to allies. So we have so many secure points, which you love to see. Um, kill one recruit. That's pretty high value recruit, so I don't mind doing that. <clears throat> Draw one community card and place in your recruits. That's quite high value. Okay, let's do it. Let's kill and restore on the A point. And then we also get another... We get 5 point recruit, which is not bad. We'll definitely, we'll definitely win this one, I think. It'll be hard for our opponents to interact with our side of things since a lot of our cards are locked in as allies. Oh, this is big. And that's the only brown as well, and it gets destroyed, so we should definitely play this. So plus one, put that into neutral, minus one, enjoy the minus four, and that's just gonna get destroyed. 
Oh, no, let's get destroyed. It's Black Mirror. I thought it was the kill trap. It's even better for us. Big plays. Um, draw two random afterlife cards. Place one in allies. We can high roll. Yeah, let's... Or we can... Oh, let's high roll. Let's high roll. If And we'll give him... No, there's, there's not... Yeah. I mean, we'll give him the 8 points and we'll get the 6. And if we take the 6, then it adds a random card to our... Um, allies. And so that's 12 points in total. So for, that, that was a 4 point gain from give and take. Almost double his score. Okay, we have one point to... Oh, thank you. We have one more point to lock in our place. Um, anything that can plus... That can add just a whole bunch of reds is good for us. If not, I guess we'll just settle for something like this. Well, there's no brown, but we can move the minus one. Just give him one point. We can also move the minus four there. Then plus one gray. Let's do that. So plus one gray. Minus three. I guess we do give him a couple points, but that's fine. Move one recruit to the neutral area. I don't want to move that recruit to neutral. Uh, we can move this recruit to neutral area, actually. Let's do that. Oh, I don't, we don't. There's no afterlife cards though, so it kind of sucks, but that's alright. At least we get rid of nine points. So it's just like straight up removal. I didn't want to remove this because they could just play it again and then move the three points to our side. But I forgot that we. That was the last turn anyway. <laughs> a lot of opponents have been wanting to go first. But two clean wins. Oh, the first one wasn't that clean. Um, but the dubs nonetheless. We still can't see who's at the end. But we're so close. We're so close, man. Um, Quattro next. Red Sky. Stay tuned. Stay tuned for the next video. We'll leave it here for now. But if you did enjoy um, this video, leave a like, comment, subscribe. And I'll see you very soon. We're, we're pargan. Peace.